Captain's log date September 28th, 1942. A whopping two ships in two days for a total of about 10,500 tons sent to the bottom. This area in the Bismarck Sea is very target rich indeed. There have been no Japanese ASW vessels detected at all. Only those pesky aircraft that are constantly coming in for attack runs on us during the daytime. Luckily, our air search radar installed on the sailfish is doing wonders. The radar operator detects the aircraft well before we are in visual range, giving us plenty of time to dive beneath the waves. Now, if only the Navy would fix our faulty torpedoes, we would truly become an effective fighting machine. Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. Last we left off, we sunk that weird stationary merchant ship in the dead of night, who uh, didn't even make any evasive maneuvers or see our torpedo coming. So uh, that's kind of odd. And we have been cruising underwater for a little bit during the day to avoid enemy aircraft. Aircraft are kind of a problem <laughs> in this area. And while we were cruising underwater, uh, we got a sound contact of a merchant medium speed closing bearing five, 258. And it's off here. And we have our patrol grid set up. It's a little clumsy looking <laughs> right now. Uh, I need to fix that up, don't I? But anyway, let's go ahead and mark him down. And let's see where he's going. All right, that's an interesting, uh, that's a good course. We got his general course. Let's go ahead and move to engage. Let's head to standard. CO2 is uh, at 14%, so we'll be okay. I'm not too worried. Uh, it is 13:32. Oh, it's just in the afternoon, so not the best for uh, surfacing. But anyway, I'll bring us up to periscope depth in a minute, because maybe we might be doing a deck gun attack. Actually, let's go ahead and go to periscope depth periscope. now. And yeah, there you go, man. Yes, sir. All right, and up we go. Right. Our boat's rising fairly quickly. I'm gonna pass a hundred feet shortly, and uh, we're not going to use our observation scope, even though I realized the observation scope actually uh, raises in here, which is freaking cool I didn't know it did that here we have a uh, range that's cool let's take a look here here's the other range I believe they generally had two people operating it at one time at least on the attack periscope where's the attack scope yeah it's up here let's go ahead and raise this one I think they're pretty much identical yeah it looks like it All right, well, this is the conning tower, by the way. I don't think we've really been up here or explored it. Here we have our TDC. Not sure what this is. Uh, and here we have uh, torpedo tubes. This is where most things happened in a American submarine. Uh, we have our radar gear and our sonar gear up here. And uh, this is where attacks took place. Kind of like a U-boat as well. Uh, U-boats took made attacks in the conning tower. That's where their t most of their TDC equipment and their attack periscope was located. All right. Well, closing in. We're at 53 feet. Oh wow, we raised, came up pretty quickly. Let's go to 50 so we can actually see. And we're going to go to our attack scope and raise it now. Very calm out. Um, my only worry is that we're not going to be able to make it close enough. That's a nice juicy target, however. We're not going to be close enough to make a uh, torpedo attack. But let's go ahead and 315 him and get his speed. I hate how that thing disappears. I know I complain about that all the time. I think he's going around 10 knots. Let's go ahead and start. turn towards them. We're at one minute now. Yeah, I don't know if we'll really be close enough. Two? And we're approaching on three. One, two, three, four, 
five and mark. All right, let's see what we got. 10 knots. Wow, I'm getting good at guessing. <laughs> I should just guess the next time and see how we do. Uh, let's go flank. Let's try to close this gap a little bit. So our maximum range, 9,000 yards. So I guess we could actually commence an attack here. So let's go ahead and start identifying. I just don't, I'm not very comfortable with making really long range attacks, but uh, what the hell. Let's try it. And if we miss, we miss, and we uh, just bring out the good old deck gun. Camera targets, alright. The ship is pretty hunky, though. Uh, so it's not it's not a sampan. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what that means. Uh, alright. No, not a troop transport. Medium tanker. Hmm. Akita Maru, 3,936 tons, speed 14 knots, draft is 24 feet. That is definitely it, I think, from mostly telling from this back little platform we got going on. So let's go ahead and mark that down. So an Akita Maru, okay. And let's get another plot going. And let's adjust our course. Accordingly. Alright, let's go ahead and start getting our range. Lock that in. About 50 degrees angle on bow. Probably a little, uh, a little closer to 90, I think. And speed will plug in once we have a better range plot. Uh, more accurate range. It's at 10 knots. I think that is accurate. Let's see what. At 15. We'll put in 10. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to just close the gap a little bit. I think. Uh, is he just heading due east? Yeah, I think he actually is. Maybe a little east, south, east. Now it's broad daylight, so we want to lower our scope a tad bit. Also, that means he'll be able to spot our wake from pretty far away. Um, let's see, what is the range at? 4,000 yards. 4,500, really. Yeah, a little closer. Yeah. So, our maximum range is 4,000 at high speed, so we're going to have to use slow speed here, it looks like. Get closer to 90. See, 10 knots. Let's turn on the tracker, the position keeper. We'll keep our depth at 10 feet. That seems like a happy medium. Um, so, contact. Position keeper. Alright, we should get ready to shoot shortly. All right, and let's make our final preparations before we fire. Ten knots. All right, tube one, get ready. Ten. Yes, yes, yes. Open. No, not tube five. Tube one, please. Thank you. Let's take a look. Yeah, looks all right. I'm not going to adjust it because this thing's kind of cheating. But uh, all right, and fire. Oh. All right. We'll see here. See how well uh, this goes. Looks like it's might be all right here. Oh. I might have aimed a little fast. Yeah, it looks like we did. Maybe if he decides to speed up. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be close. We'll only miss by a couple of yards, I think. But I think we will miss. So I think it's deck gun time. Also, I think it's running deep. Oh, yeah. We just barely missed it. Probably, what, two feet? 
Well, he's definitely alerted to our presence now, so I think it's time to go ahead and surface and use the deck gun real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, man the guns now. We want someone on the anti-aircraft gun. And uh, man battle stations. General quarters, general quarters, all, all hands, hands man, man your battle, battle stations. stations. Alright, all you ready boys? Let's make this uh, quick and easy. As quick as possible, please. And let's ahead flank. I don't want any aircraft to come and uh, start bombing us, which is probably what's going to happen. We are very close to uh, Japanese controlled uh, islands, so probably not the best idea. Alright, here we go. What the. I bet he's shitting his pants right now. I would be. Alright. Man the guns. And fire at will. Oh, he has small caliber rounds. Firing at will. Fire, fire. Yes, there we go. Oh wow, that was quick. Yes, sir. One third. Let's give our boys a stable gun platform and uh, keep an eye on the skies, boys, for enemy aircraft. And they miss. Good job, morons. You have no excuses <laughs> right now. Aim for the water line now. There we go. That was the hole, but I'll, I'll let it slide. Looks like those uh, merchant gunners aren't very good. Aiming a little high. How do y'all... Y'all hit them. How do you miss... Uh, I don't know. Sorry to subjugate you to a, a wonderful deck gun attack. But I'm going to go ahead and take over so it's slightly more entertaining. Let's go ahead and range them out. Uh, let's ask for what his range is. Even though they give it in, to me in feet, which is absolutely absolutely useless. Gee, blah, blah, blah. English. English is hard, and that's way too far. I wish they would give it to you in yards. <laughs> Very rarely use feet. I didn't choose the imperial system, it chose me, unfortunately, by birth, America. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what a nice day on the water, yes. Getting some good hits here, looks like he's already dead on the water. Can't believe that torpedo missed though. It looked pretty, I was... Hey, that was a pretty far shot, and I, I just barely missed it, so I guess I'm kind of happy with it. Um, maybe the speed was a tad off. It could have been anything at that point. At least he didn't accelerate at an insane speed and get away from it. That would have absolutely triggered me. And it normally does. I've been kind of binge playing this game quite a bit recently. I've been writing all of my captain's logs uh, as I start or cut an episode, so I think this might be another shorter episode. Oh, there we go. And uh, I'll let my men get to it. Uh, and let's raise our SJ radar. Yeah, let's get that up. So I can detect those Japanese planes when they start uh, flying in. Oh my god, they're still missing. Luckily, we haven't been hit by any of their small caliber rounds. Probably, like, I guess we're fairly lucky, lucky in that retrospect. Maybe we actually blew up his guns. I don't know if he actually has any guns on his turn. Thanks for telling me my torpedo miss. Shoot one ready, sir. Oh, I'm still getting hits. Oh, she's going down apparently. Alright. <laughs> uh deck gunning. Yes, sir. Deck gunning. Standard. 
pretty exciting stuff. All right, we'll secure from battle stations. And uh, let's go. Let's get up right next to him, shall we? Let's go investigate. Yes, sir. The head full. Oh, another ship down. I don't think. Hopefully, there's nothing on the horizon. Oh, looks like. No, I think we're okay. Fairly safe, even though the threat of aircraft is looming. <laughs> they are probably pretty close. Yeah, and it looks like she's just going to slip under really quickly. Yeah, she's going down. Adios, I didn't see any life rafts. We were shelling them. They should have had enough time to get off, you would think. Oh, I think I see one in the water there. Yeah, she's gone. That was a fat ship. Wow. All right, and there she goes. Well, we'll continue onward, I suppose, on our patrol. Um, we're going to keep going through this pattern. We've already sunk two vessels in this area, bringing us to that ship. It wasn't Akita Maru, and it was 4,000 tons. So, All right, we're going to keep on moving onward, I suppose. And uh, I'll see you guys when I have something to report in. All right, we were just cruising on the surface a little bit, and we got a radar contact heading north-northwest, speed medium, long range, very long range, and we're going to go ahead and mark him down, and we're already kind of on an intercept course, so we'll just uh, continue this way. We're making our turn when we uh, receive the radar contact. We're actually going to go ahead and submerge to radar depth, so we can still use our radar to uh, pick this guy up but we'll be well submerged <laughs> what else do you think radar depth means folks yeah he's coming right for us he's making it easy this is too easy <laughs> alright we don't want our observation scope oh wow it's pea soup out jeez I didn't realize that we're gonna have to get pretty close to be able to see him Good thing that we have radar. This radar is amazing, though. I'm honestly... I'm a fan, let me tell you. I've never really played too much with radar. radar the last time I had a real Sonic Hunter 4 playthrough was so long ago. Long I just, uh, I forgot how wonderful it was. And... The radar's not working yeah. too well, so let's go ahead and just go to Periscope Depth now. And we'll connect connect the dots. There we go. Now let's get nice and close. Let's bring her up to what fifty feet. And yeah, I think we are in a very good position actually. Looks like we need to come up a little more. It's impossible to see. Wow, it is really foggy out. Okay, so he's at pretty much 300 degrees. I don't know if we'll be able to see him yet. No. No, oh, this is going to be pretty hard to uh, get his speed. And I don't want to just guess, so. Even though I said I should. Oh, apparently we can see him now. Oh, I don't see him. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, 300, pretty much exactly. Oh, there he is. Wow, how'd you, that's hard to see. You can just barely make out his wake through the fog. All right, let's go ahead and uh, 315 here. He is moving very quickly. And Mark, all right. Hopefully we have three minutes to do this. I think, yeah. One minute. Two minutes. And two and a half. Approaching three. Oh, we got this guy now. Can't use the deck gun in these uh, weather conditions, however. I'm not going to subjugate my men to do that. All right. 
One, two, three, four, five, and mark. Okay. Let's see how how fast he is going. Speed ten knots. Sounds good with me. Let's begin the identification process. And wow, that is a big. That is interesting. Very interesting. Okay. These Japanese ship designs are something else. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow, what the hell is that? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. No. He has a lot of cranes. A lot of craneage going on, so. And a very thick smokestack. No, I don't think that's it. He has those two plat gun platforms. I think that medium modern passenger freighter. That, that's not it. That's it. Nagara Maru. That's it. Yep. 7,000 tons. Speed 19 knots. Draft is 24 feet. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin this process. Let's get his range. Wow, this is really hard to see. Okay. Um, I think that's the top there. Uh, let's see here. He has some pretty large guns on his uh, fore and aft there as well. Alright. Anyway. Stop admiring his guns. Alright. Get his range, speed, lock in as 10. Which is conveniently locked in from our last attack. How about that? Now what I'm worried about is these waves too. It cause our torpedoes to malfunction. The warhead slams into the side of a wave and then there it goes. But hopefully that won't happen. His draft is 24 feet. We can set it. We'll set it to... Uh, what, 13? Yeah, 14, 13. 13 sounds good. And we'll shoot tube one. It's our torpedo situation. Alright, so we'll have six torpedoes left in the forward. In the, uh, the front when we're done with this. Not too many stern tor- We have quite a few stern torpedoes, however. Because I don't really use the stern torpedo tubes. Alright, we can go ahead and just stop now. And we just lay in wait. Are you ready, men? For the next kill of the day? Yeah, those are some pretty large guns. It's a very large ship. Alright. Let's get this almost exact at this point. Yeah, he's, he's getting there. We want speed high and contact influence as well. I think we're going to shoot one torpedo into him. Yeah, it's looking good. Only a few more seconds. We need to get this range a little more refined, however. That's a bit better. About a 40 second run time. Alright, I think we are ready, so let's go ahead and uh, open tube one. I think we're going to shoot two. Tube one, fire. Tube two, offset angle. One degree, fire. All right, 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and see how we do. All right, 20 seconds. 25. 30. Thirty-five. 
All right, should be happening. 40, there we go. Torpedo one impact. Torpedo two? Soon? Torpedo two? I think torpedo two missed. All right, so one out of two. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I think the offset angle there was definitely a mistake. Let's take a look. Wow, it is super foggy. Super fog. Uh, I don't know, do it. You see the weight? I don't really see the weight. Let's see how he's doing. Looks like he's doing just fine. Uh, we're gonna track him a little bit. What is he carrying? Are those tanks? I'm curious now. Let's see. <laughs> Could be cool. Oh yeah, he has some tanks on him. Neat. Oh, and they have the little rising sun on him. That's cool. All right. Interesting cargo. All right, so we're gonna stalk this guy. And it looks like he's already slowing down quite significantly. So let's start. Yeah, he's already. He's already pretty much stationary. And we can slow down. We don't have to play catch up with him. And my dog's eating. Oh, she's sinking. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, she's sinking. <laughs> God, why does my dog choose to eat when I'm recording? I don't really have my own office, so uh, I hope to get one soon. Though. I mean, we should be moving shortly, so. And it's it's just bouncing up in the waves there. All right, well, I think that is going to cut the episode, folks. Thank you all for watching, and we're kind of sticking out a little bit. Well, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Again, thank you all for watching, and happy hunting.